Let us pray. For the wide sky and the blessed sun, for the salt sea and the running water, for the everlasting hills and the never resting winds, for trees and the common grass underfoot, we thank you for our senses by which we hear the songs of birds and see the splendor of the summer fields and taste of the autumn fruits and rejoice in the feel of the snow and the smell of the breath of spring. Grant us a heart wide open to all this beauty and save our souls from being so blind that we pass unseeing when even the common thorn bush is aflame with your glory. O God, our creator, who lives and reigns forever and ever, we confess our sins to you. We confess that in a world where many do not have enough, we enjoy more than we need. In a world where many live in fear, we take peace for granted. In a world where many have lost hope, we become indifferent to despair and grumble about the small things. Forgive us, merciful God. Forgive us and transform our lives to shine with the generosity, peace, and hope you offer to us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Friends, while it is true that we have all sinned, it is a greater truth that we are forgiven through God's love in Jesus Christ. To all who some humbly seek the mercy of God this day, I say to you in Jesus Christ, our sins are forgiven. Be at peace with God, with yourself, and with one another. And for that we say, thanks be to God. Amen. Our first reading this morning is our psalm, psalm number 65, and we will read it responsively. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion. To you shall vows be performed. O you who answer prayer, to you all flesh shall come. When deeds of iniquity overwhelm us, you forgive our transgressions. Happy are those whom you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, your holy temple. By awesome deeds you answer us with deliverance, O God of our salvation. You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. By your strength you establish the mountains. You are girded with might. You silence the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples. Those who live at earth's farthest bounds are awed by your signs. You make the gateways of the morning and the evening shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with grain, for so you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty, your wagon tracks overflow with richness. The pastures of the wilderness overflow, the hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with flocks, the valleys deck themselves with grain, they shout and sing together for joy. Amen. And our gospel reading this morning is taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, 10 lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out saying, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not ten made clean, but the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Our children's hymn, 441, Can a Little Child Like Me?